What's good? XR Pikachu here, Elite Four member with Zertmon, and in today's episode, we're talking about the world boss because we didn't beat it. And we also have auctions coming up. Okay guys, so the recent announcement, auctions, it has been one week since release of the latest batch and we are now due for, now due for some big auctions. Starting tonight on, this is my time, Monday, January 22nd at 5.30 a.m., we will be auctioning the cute, I don't even know how to say this, Cody, Cody Golgon? Each auction will be created two days apart at the same time and run for one day each. You can find the latest auctions here. And this is the uh, Kotalogon. It's cute as shit. <clears throat> and the attacks here, 20% miss, but it is a dragon grass, so I would definitely use a dragon or grass equipment to eliminate that miss. Got a nice 22% evade. Awaken, which is good, KO's uh, against golds. Leaf Rab makes, it's a five star purple that makes you have your attacks do zero damage for two attacks. A nice cheeky little rock attack because it protects him against his weaknesses, but then he's got two dragons and a grass attack. So make sure to put your offers in. It's in a couple hours now from, I think, 12 hours from now, actually. So, but all right, enough of that. Let's get into what today is about, and that is the world boss. Okay, so last week's boss, the reward pool was 500. We did not get it. However, half of that reward pool gets moved over so now the re reward pool for this week is 750 zerp and i think we're doing fairly decent this one we're starting off a lot better we're figuring out strategies and that's what i would like to go over you can see everyone who's done the top damage so far and a lot of and your shares your damage carried over from last week as well so today we are playing experiment 26 now let's see what the experiment 26 does Scott Hellfire, of course. Every experiment, I feel like, has a five-star KO purple. 21% too. All right, so 32% purple. Attacks aren't that big. How big is the white? Oh, the white's not that big. So we got to watch out for the golds. So what would be good here is probably Lightning Ring or Crystal Ball and Awaken the purple attack so all right i'm gonna make a team and then we'll be right back okay so this is the deck that we've uh compiled here we're gonna use we're gonna open up with magmolar magmolar has tectonic divide five star ko purple but it also has blinding light i know they only like collectively the white is what 18 19 percent plus the 12 percent miss so that's what around 30 percent a chance for blinding light to hit or a winning roll against which makes the purple zero star which then it makes it a miss which is good so that's why we're leading magmolar and we're also uh leading with the shill punk to boost the magmolar's attacks because their attack is highest is 88 so i think magmolar out damages everything with exception of tr uh, tremor shake that i don't know for sure uh but then we're using a uh, dragon amulet so it doesn't have a miss it does have a 17 percent miss but with a uh, dragon amulet it has a no miss then we're going to go with Tox Flox because this thing has a, what, 32, 34% chance, 35% chance gold. Tox Flock has Awaken, 16%, uh, but just in case Magmolar doesn't land Blinding Light, we also have Blinding Light here. And then he's got three attacks <clears throat> that can out damage the experiment. What is this? Experiment 26. Um, and then we're rocking longbow, so we have no miss. And then we have increased chance of crit, I think, by, what is it, 15%? 15%, yeah, crit. Then we got uh, rock rock. Hopefully by then, at least one of them have landed blinding light. And we can start, rock rock can start bringing in, or start landing its purples, because it's got big chance, 38% chance to roll purples, which increases their miss. All this damage is in the 80s, but we're also rocking uh, Toxic Vile, so it reduces their damage by 35% chance. And then Metal Bark, Ste Steel Plague, increases this. If we just hit it once, it increases this attack to landing 61% chance. But if we land this twice, then this, this lands 100% chance, and it's a gold and just keeps hitting over and over and over again. 
the only issue here is 13% miss. We are rocking the Toxic Vial just for damage. But as long as we land this, then the miss goes away. And then we're just going to end out with Shadoni. Weak damage, but high percentage of landing purples. 44% chance. And we are going to use the Power Glove to increase the damage by 70%. But then his miss is going to be 13. So hopefully this works out. And we can get some big damage on there. So let's see if the deck has set. Uh, show punk, my mother, tox, rock, 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 Okay, cool. Here we go. Some damage. Tectonic divider. The blinding light would have been real nice there. Ah, damn. All right. Come on, Tox Fox. Okay, nice. Way to survive there, but blinding light is what we really need to get this plan going or this, this strat going. We're stacking up some damage here, which is good, though. Nice crit. Oh, he protects here. Increases that by 20. Ooh. Awaken. Come on. Blinding light there. No. Okay. We'll take that. <coughs> oh, damn. We're going to enrage him before. Damn it. Toxflox is doing some good damage. Ah. There's a blinding light. Oh, we blocked it, but he broke through. Damn. Well, hopefully we can increase the miss somehow here. No, we're just doing straight up damage. He's in range. Ah. Uh. Okay, so so far, <laughs> uh, damn. And then there's the miss from Metal Bark. It'd be nice if we can hit our blue here. Nope. All right, I think we just enraged him. Strat didn't work, but uh, I guess we did some good damage. So what Shadoni can do here. Ah, uh, he just gets out damaged. 1276, not bad. Um, I guess we'll close out today with missions as or not missions. Yeah, missions as well. Try to get us a Titan. Currently training my shell alert. Oh bro. Nice. Trying to get him to level 16 so we can get our refills and nice. Revives. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Wonderland. Wonderland's such a nice attack. Ah, damn, he has strong winds, though. Uh, reduce a damage, opponent's damage by 100% next attack, and if you repeatedly land it, it can reduce by 200 for the next attack. 300, it just stacks. Or no, per turn. It's 100% per turn. So it stacks per turn. But uh, anyway, I had that on Shadoni. But Misty, another one of my... the One of the ones that I picked up from last batch. I really like it a lot because it has special talent and counterattack. Weak damage though, but... That's okay. Once we get to get it to level 30, 
Let me start using the cosmic equipment. Leap here, high purple. Ooh, this thing has high purple, or not high purple, hard blue. This one's got high blue as well, 34. Nice. This thing has strong winds? What the f Failing! <laughs> nice. Wait, what? Why is his evade so high? Was it the same as mine? What? Why was this? Is everyone? I'm confused. Unless that's a visual bug. Yeah, we might have to report that. Yeah, look, everyone's... I'll have to report that. We'll see. Burrow? Ah, damn. Alright. No Titan for me. But let's see how we concluded on the world boss for today. In terms of damage. We are in 10th place. Let's go. Total share of 7, almost 8, sir. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, as always, peace.